Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Mercury, conjunct midheaven, and a natal horoscope. People with this aspect may disdain monotony at work and may thrive on job variety. Repetitive work would probably not be their forte. People with this aspect may like to be mentally and physically mobile at work. They may excel in mercurial professions such as writing, journalism, and anything related to communications such as data communications. They may be loquacious and talk up a storm with fellow employees. People with this aspect may articulate career interests readily. Midheaven conjunct Mercury may flourish in brain work or scientific fields such as biology or chemistry. They may like professions that challenge the mind. There may be many career changes in this person's life. Mercury conjunct the Midheaven may be perpetual learners that continually apply new knowledge on the job. Persistence in a field may be a weakness for this person, perhaps due to a tendency to get bored easily. They may have a hard time being stagnant at work. Communication with a parent and or authority figure may be intellectually stimulating. Their thinking may be ingenious and creative with a plethora of new ideas. Some famous people with this aspect include legendary pro basketball player Magic Johnson, actor-producer Harrison Ford, business magnet, investor, philanthropist Warren Buffett, reputed seer Nostradamus, and Formula One race car driver Michael Schumacher. Well, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Mercury conjunct the Midheaven in a natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I'll be deviating from my usual routine with the aspect segments and I'm going to be talking about astrology and anger. And then after that I will continue with my aspect segment, segments and I will have the video about Mercury sex style or trying the midheaven and a natal horoscope. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.